So what's up everybody? Today's episode, somebody asked me, how do you use color balance Armstrong? So this is a picture without color balance and this is a picture with color balance. So I just give you this little bit of orange feel on it. Color balance helps pop up what you do, however it is. So I want to show you how to add color balance on this video. So if you're the first time I've come to this channel, thank you, welcome. I'm just not going to do any other intros. I'm hitting right to it, right? Okay, so before uh, before and now with color balance i'm just going to turn it off this was how the picture was originally if you've not watched the old video you should please watch it i'm going to turn this layer back on and go all the way so the first thing i did while I, or before adding color balance was go to this picture right above here and then i picked the hue and saturation then i just made it a little bit pinkish um, yeah something of this nature i just increased the saturation a little bit something like this yeah then yeah, I made it a little bit pinkish something like this so that's what I did right so then after that now when you are true with working on the face for example working on the picture you want to use a color balance that, that affects the picture now when I've done something like this I'll pick the layer this group one and then use go to all the way to color balance Now, when I click on color balance I'm going to click on color balance now it has gone to this place now when I'm using the color balance, I'm, I, I'm going to cl um, clip it to this by using alternate and clip. I'm going to clip it to this. Then I want to now, the co color balance has shadows, mid-tones and highlights, right? Now, when you're using any of them, the shadows, the mid-tones, the highlights, you want to make sure the, the picture turns out how you want. So I like it a little bit bluish. I'm going to take this in the mid -tones, I'm going to take a little bit to this cyan part. Then i'm going to somewhere around here so it's a little i don't want it so green but then i want it looking good you know so something like this then the shadows there's no particular figure to tweak i just okay i can probably take it to this magenta area something like this four and minus two it's not like i had any of these figures planned out and yeah this is what i have now it doesn't it might not look like much but if, if you look closely you see that before and now this has given it a kind of real skin so before it was somehow green but now okay so i think what i did was it even made it a little bit green so i'm just going to correct it make it a little bit red yeah something like this just have a color so what i usually do is to check a skin color and a human skin color and then one of the things you can also do is so for the highlights for example you can go to highlights but make sure when you're adding highlights is not so much you know so yeah this one this is what you can do with color balance so one of the things you can also do is when you you color balance sometimes when you are color balancing for example i'm going to color balance this part and i want the shirt for example to be blue right like this but then it has affected every other part it's very easy one of the things you can do is um to use your brush to go to this part this part beside it um not the not this two now i mean this one beside it um the clipping mask and then erase it now with the brush selected to black you can now erase that part you know when you do that is every other thing is affected except the part you erase so this is how it is so you can always reduce the opacity if you don't like any of it so one of the things last things i always do sometimes when i'm adding um, color balance is now I'll choose a color balance for example then probably nudge it up a bit say yeah somewhere around here say 60 yeah something like this now this looks very bad it doesn't look very good but then like I did for the former one I would um, just clean up just the face see I'll clean up just the face I can increase opacity clean up just the face and maybe some part of the shirt and this one will have this was almost as similar so this, so this is the picture so i'm going to turn this all off so this is the picture we had before we started this tutorial and uh, this is what we have now so you can just compare and yeah so just compare make it intense make it more intense so you can you can probably add any part you want to it so this is what color balance has given us so i'm just going to turn off all the color balance one two three so this is what color balance gave us and then if i'm adding color balance this is what i have so it has given it a theme it looks like it looks it looks a little bit more catchy 
on this than the other one right so this is one of the ways to use color balance when you're using color balance color balance don't forget to add don't forget to use your shadows midtones and highlights yeah that way then but if you work on color balance sometimes and it feels like it's too much too saturated you go to hue and saturation then you reduce it a bit one of the things that one of the ways to still tweak this color balance thingy is probably when you are on this the hue you can also tweak the hue a little bit to just tweak it don't make sure it's not so much make sure it's, it goes the range of one to five or so something like this can just tweak it a little bit and then it's going to be come out it's going to come out very 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 beautiful yeah don't tweak it so much if you tweak it so much it looks it looks like uh, a poster but then this way you get creative you can always tweak and tweak and tweak and get what you want like it's underwater or something but then yeah that is it that is it so this is one of the ways i use color balance to have something nice done i don't have a particular figure i have in my head i just try to make the picture as real as possible and just you know just tweak the skin color now this was the one that was under i can always tweak how i want the skin color under yeah just give it something a nudge to the whole thing and then I think you have something beautiful done so one of the things i like doing when i like um when i use color balance is to just reduce the to just reduce the the redness on the face add a little bit of cyan and you're good to go i think that's all for today's video i want to meet you guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you use color balance i really want to see what you guys use color balance so maybe tag me on instagram with hashtag color balance hashtag i'm strong or hashtag anything and tell me you did it and i'll meet you in the next video all right catch you guys bye